this video, we'll be looking at component alerts. Some components can be used to generate alerts. For example, you could create an alert for when price crosses a trend line. So let's bring up our components panel. Here we have a trend line. Now notice if the trend line is drawn without or beyond current price, what will happen is, is you won't be able to create an alert because Motive Wave is saying, well, the trend line price will never cross a trend line because a trend line does not extend past price. So by extending the trend line, you now have the option to create an alert for triggering the alert. So the first input, we have bid, ask, daily high, daily low, daily open, daily close available. And for the second input, we have the trend line available here. For comparison operators, we have crosses, in which case if the bid price crosses a trend line either above or below, it will trigger the alert. We have cross below, in which case if the bid crosses below the trend line, we have cross above. If the bid crosses above, it'll trigger the trend line. And then we have touches the trend line, which if price touches a trend line at all, it will trigger the alert. Here we have trigger multiple. If we have trigger multiple selected, then the alert will still be valid after it is first triggered. In this case, we do not have it selected, so it'll only trigger the one time. The label and comment fields allow you to enter some text, which will be sent to you along with an email if you select the option to send the email. In this case, we don't. Under notification, we have the ability to show the alert or do not show the alert. And of course, we can select the sound, either a preset sound or a sound from our own system. Click Cancel. If you do select it, it will show up here. I'm just going to leave this as Use Preset Sound. And if you select the option to send an email, of course, you will have to have your SMTP server set in your Configure Preferences, and that's a separate video for that. And then you have the option of attaching an image, which would be a screenshot of the chart at the time that the alert is triggered. Okay, now some of these other line-based components can also have alerts. For instance, any horizontal line. We can create alerts from those. Channels, along with the quadrant lines, the Tyrone levels, the forks, modified shift, and some of these other ones down here as well, uh, such as any of the wedge-based components. Feel free to take a look and experiment anytime you do place a component. If there is the ability to create an alert, you will see it by right-clicking on the component and we'll see the Create Alert option available. Another thing you can do uh, along with plotted components is you can, for example, create an alert for when a moving average crosses a trend line. So we have our trend line here. Let's plot our moving average. And now if we create an alert, we have the moving average available as one of our inputs for our condition. And of course, at this point, we would select which comparison we want or which trigger we would want. So in this case, we want cross as a trend line. And then we go ahead and fill the or select the other fields as we wish. We then click OK. And the alert is now placed in the alert window. From here, we see some particulars regarding the alert, such as a symbol, whether it's in replay mode, the name, the last value, and some other columns here, as well as the ability to click on the chart where the alert is placed. So in this case, if we were on a separate chart and then I clicked on chart, it then brings up the current chart that the alert is placed on. And of course, we have the option of canceling the alert. We can also take a look at some of the options here presented by the icons. In this case, if we click on the alert history window, it'll show us the alert history where we have the ability to clear the history. We can create an additional alert if we select the alert, we can edit the alert. Here we can cancel all the alerts. And if here we can 
clear alert history. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.